What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Sir House of Jazz. Jazz. The Piano Tutorial Man. Going back to the 90s, y'all. Y'all already know what this is. Baby, I'm Yours by Sha. Not too hard of a song to learn, so we're going to jump right into it. Obviously, the song starts... Uh, I guess you can look, well, let's look at what the chords are. Here are the chords, and then I'll show you the bass line that you're going to want to rock. But your basic chords, baby, I'm yours. That's a D major chord. So you want D on the left hand, F sharp, A, D in the right hand. Baby, I'm yours, yours, right? Baby, I'm yours. Okay, so the second chord, this is an F sharp minor seven, and the inversion that I'm playing is F sharp on the left hand, E, F sharp, A, C sharp on the right hand. Then I'm coming to a, a G major nine, and the uh, inversion is G on the left hand, D, F sharp, A, B on the right hand. And then I go to a, a A dominant seven. A on the left hand, C sharp, E, G, A. So those chords together, baby, I'm yours, yours, if you want me, right? Okay, that's the first pass. Now the second pass. Go back to the D major chord again. Go to the F sharp minor seven chord again. Now here's what's going to be different. This is on the second pass, you want to go to this chord. Ah, they switch it up right there. This is a D minor seven over G. Okay, that's the easiest way to look at it. G on the left hand, D, F, A, C on the right hand. And then what I'm going to do is do a E minor 7 over A instead of the A dominant 7. Okay, so that's going to be A on the left hand, D, E, G, and B. On the right hand, that is an E minor 7 inverted. Instead of playing my D up here, I'm just playing the D down there so it's still it's an inverted e minor seven if you think like that in your head and just put it over a that's why i said e minor seven over a okay so when you put those chords together the first pass here's the first pass baby i'm yours if you want me second pass baby i'm yours if you need me Okay, and then you're going to do the first and second pass again. Loving you for the same chord. Play the first pass again. G major 9, A7. Then play the second pass. Baby, I'm yours. Now D minor 7 over G. Then E minor 7 over A. Ladies and gentlemen, you already know how to play the chorus. Those are the chords. Now let's switch to the uh, bass line. The bass line is, okay, so what they're doing is, is A, B, D, B. That's the walk right there. That's the little lick. Right? A, B as in boy, D as in door, back to B. And then you're going to jump to the D again when you hit the chord. So you're going to go, right? Now, once you do that, everything else is the same. You already know what, what else to do with your, right, with your left hand, right? Sorry about that. Let me do that again because I sure enough just messed that up. Here we go. Now, once you play that lick, everything else stays the same, right? And you just keep hitting that lick over and over again. Da, 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 da. And then you play every th the chords the way I just showed you again. And then again, you'll play the da-da-da-da. So again, that little lick that you want to add in when you're playing the chorus. A, 
B, D, B, and then jump in with the chord, okay? All right, so that's the chorus. That's all you have to know for the chorus. Now, once you get to the verse, understand, girl, that my uh, heart is in your hands. You want to go, now I'm going to do a different version of D major. For the chorus, I had you playing it up here. But when we get to the verse, I think it's better to play it down here. So it's a D major chord, but different version. D on the left hand, A, D, F sharp. Since the A is on the is in the base of the right hand, this is what you would call a D major second inversion. Instead of playing the A up here, playing the A down there, just to let you know, for those theory heads out there, second inversion, okay? So it's going to be understand, girl. Now your second chord uh, for the verse is going to be an A over C sharp, A major over C sharp, C sharp on the left hand. A, C sharp, E. Understand, girl, that my... Then you can go to a G major 7. Or you can even fatten it up and go to a G major 9. Like that. But let me show you the G major 7 before I move ahead. Uh, G on the left hand. G, B, D, F sharp. Now, if you want to make this a major nine, just take this G on your right hand and play the A instead because you still got the G down here anyway. You know what I'm saying? So whatever suits your ear better. So it's going to be, understand, girl, that my heart is in your... And then you're going to go to um, E minor seven over A again. Now, this is a different inversion. I should have said that with the G major 9. That was a different inversion, but I spelt it out. Then you want to do E minor 7 over A with the E minor being in root position. So A on the left hand, E, G, B, D. So put all those chords together. You have understand, girl, that my heart is in your hands. Okay. Now, the second pass is the exact same chord <laughs> when you're doing the verse. When you're doing the verse, play those exact same chords again. And I'm cautious of falling in love again, so won't you please? Right? Okay, so there you go. Now for the little, I guess you can say little pre-chorus, little bridge or whatever. In a way, you're kind of switching keys. I don't know if you're going to B flat major or whatever. But anyway, you're going to go to a B flat major nine chord. So go to a B flat major. This is, so please don't hurt me. Okay. Uh, so you got B flat on the left hand. I mean, it might, it, on your screen, it might say A sharp major nine. But I'm sorry. I'm calling it B flat major nine because that's how I want to do it. Think of it however you want to think of it. Okay, back to the tutorial. B flat on the left hand, A, C, D, F on the right hand. So be careful. And then the next chord is an A minor seven, A on the left hand, G, A, C, E. Now sometimes I like to just be slick and play the A minor seven this way. If you look at my physical fingers, you'll see that I'm using my thumb to play both the G and the A down here. I'm using the side, this part of my thumb. I don't know why I do that sometimes. I don't do it every time, but it's still A minor seven. It's still A minor seven. So if you want to do it that way, then with your thumb, play the G and the A, C, E, G. But it's okay if you just, play it the way I showed you the first time. So anyway, okay, so here we go. So you're gonna jump back and forth from B flat major nine to A minor seven. Don't desert me, B flat major nine again. I'm afraid, back to A minor seven, of being the fool, okay? And then you're gonna chop this up and go pop, 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 pop. You're like, hold up, dude, what's, what, what's that? Well, what did you just play? Real simple, I'm playing a G major over A. So it's A on the left hand, G, B, D on the right hand, chop it up, or 
the technical musical term is called staccato. Bop, 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 bop. And then on that last one, you want to go, you're going to take this D on your right hand and just drop it down to C sharp. All the other notes stay the same. Bop, 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 bop. You know what I'm saying? Um, so there you go. A7 with a 9. So, bop, 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 bop. And ladies and gentlemen, that's the entire song. Because if you know the song, after that, you go right back to, baby, I'm yours. And that's it. There are no other chords to this song, ladies and gentlemen. That's the whole song. You already know it, baby. Yum, um, oh, da, 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 da. And then D minor 7 over G to the E minor over A. Loving you forever, right? If you want me. And then ba, ba, da, ba, ba. Uh, and then D minor over G. And then again, you just go back to the verse again. You know what I'm saying? Play those chords again. Right. And then go to that B flat major 9. A minor 7. Don't desert me. I'm a back and forth, back and forth. And then do that G over A staccato. Bop, 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 bop. And then just drop that D to C sharp and you back to the chorus again. There's nothing else. I'm not going to stretch out this tutorial because that's the entire song. Even when Garfield is saying, um, baby, I've been through a whole lot of relationships. So all these broken promises, you're just playing the chords to the verse. Just play the chords to the verse. Baby, I've been through a whole lot of relationships. A whole lot of broken promises. It's the, it's the verse again. But I'm ready for a real one, sweetheart. Yes, I am. And then Garfield will go, You don't have to worry. You, you, you know how the song go. I'm trying not to get a copyright strike, so I'm trying not to sing it too much. And, and then, don't you ever go nowhere. And then you play the chorus again, and they'll go, Baby, I'm, baby, baby, I'm yours, right? Baby, um, okay, I'm about to get a copyright strike, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to shut up now. But anyway, hopefully that helps you out, and I will catch y'all on the next one.